guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at another Galaxy of Adventures figure. This one is Finn, and it is only Finn because he was the only one I could find at the two places I checked. I did find him at Target, and if you watch my Chewbacca video, you will know that I have now become very interested in these figures and they are disappearing um, before my eyes, of course, that's how it works. Um, like I said before, I really hope they're not discontinuing them. Um, I think that they even had a Darth Maul planned, unless I'm mistaken. I'll have to go back and look. But um, I love the stylization of these figures, and the 5-inch doesn't so much bother me because I have space to display them now. So um, I am going to try to track down the rest of the figures that are currently out. So the uh, Darth Vader, Rey, Kylo Ren, uh, what is this, a First Order Flame Trooper or something? And then, of course, um, the Han Solo and uh, C-3PO. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we do have Finn to review today, who does look cool. Honestly, though, I don't tend to pick up a lot of Finn merchandise. He's a pretty plain character for me, but it does look like he comes with a couple accessories. And so you get a good look at the figure through the window. Um, this one is in another square box. You get a picture of Finn, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker down there. He has a fast blast attack which I'm thinking is probably, yeah, pretty similar to the slashing arm motions that we've been getting. Um, so that's cool. It looks like you can aim it down and the spring will force it upward. Um, you can see the play feature on the side there, the wave on this side. On the back, there's a picture of Finn with some warnings. So um, let's go ahead and break into the box and we'll take a closer look at the figure. All right, and here is Finn out of the packaging. Um, he does come with a couple accessories. He comes with this little um, satchel that looks like it's molded to fit around his body, uh, crossbody wise. Um, and it's molded good, it's got some good molding detail, but in terms of paint application, it is all brown. Um, so pretty plain on that aspect, but nice. It's nice that we get an accessory. He also does come with a little bitty gray blaster that is totally plain for the most part. Um, just molded in kind of a flat gray. Now, um, Finn himself does come with a holster for the blaster, so that's really nice. You can stick it in there if you don't want to display Finn holding the blaster, and it fits in really, really nice and looks quite good. This character does have an actual blaster hand right here and then a normal cup hand right here. Um, Finn's sculpt on his face looks fantastic, and his haircut is really cool. Uh, Rise of Skywalker Finn is definitely my favorite Finn. They really nailed his costume in my opinion. It just seems to suit him and it's memorable. Um, I really like the uh, First Order vest and then the dark brown shirt. His arm just shot out because it's on under spring tension. Um, and then of course he has blue pants with the captain stripe down the side that look really nice. The sculpting of this figure is really, really nice. We pick up some muscle detail in the legs, on the thighs, and in the calves. Very animated. Um, and then, of course, he's got, like, these ankle-high boots that are black, which looks really nice. Um, yeah. And so let's go ahead. I'll try to put his uh, blaster in his hand, and we will attempt the um, play feature. Okay, so his blaster's in his hand, and it fits really well. The play feature is literally this. He put his arm down, and then he quick draws, which actually is kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take that one. We can go with it. Um, it's not too bad, but really cool. I'll put a satchel on too. Uh, I think it's just a little crossbody satchel. Might go on this way. Let's All right. So here's Finn with his satchel, which looks okay. It is a little bit bulky because of the, the way, uh, it, it stops kind of on his torso, but it actually looks good. I mean, the, in the band too, it looks like for the most part, it fits. It does stick up a little bit from his body, um, but there, yeah, it doesn't tend to really want to rest on his side very well. It's okay. You can kind of pose him like that. Um, and I think it puts him in a decent pose. I love that it comes with a holster and it comes with two accessories. That's really fun. Again, I really think that these figures look super duper nice. Um, they really nail the face sculpts, and I think it's because they have their own animated style. Um, it definitely is quite a difference sometimes for some of our three three quarter inch figures that we've gotten where they just, it's like, what are they thinking with the face? But, um, these overall, I think have a really good sculpt and are really fun. I love the articulation. Um, the size is fine to me. It feels like a six inch figure, uh, mostly, but, uh, pretty good. But let me know what you think guys in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos and until next time, I will see you later. Bye guys.